Hey, welcome to Integrated Preparedness. I'm Steve Smith. Uh, make this kind of quick because I'm getting ready to teach the beginner handgun class. Uh, what's the next? What's the next danger? The next problem? The next thing coming up that we're going to have to deal with? Uh, we just got put our county along with three others here in the greater Kansas City area. Uh, we're put on a uh, mandatory stay in, stay inside uh, lockdown, if you will. It's not not a hard lockdown. It's just you know if you're not um, if you're not an essential worker, um, you know they want you to uh, stay inside as much as you can. And you know I'm sure they're not going to throw anybody in jail or anything over that at this point. But they have instituted this stay in place uh, beginning tomorrow. You know, they've given everybody a chance to get out and get what they need and, and things like that, uh, which, uh, which gave me today's lesson. And that is, what is the next thing that we need to worry about? Now, most of us know we've, we've planned on this stuff. So not much of this is a surprise to us. It's more interesting than a surprise. It's interesting to see how people uh, react to a situation, and even in that, it's it hasn't been a great surprise to most of us, right? I went out today on my on my morning recon to see what was going on out there, and uh, so I ran down to the. I didn't do the whole loop of places. I didn't want to. It's it's Sunday. I have other things to do, um, but I went down to the Aldi, which. I knew would give me a microcosm. Oh, I did go past the Sam's Club, and the line was, they had the lines screaming out the parking lot. People standing out there in the rain. You'd have thought it was a, a Trump rally getting ready to start. Uh, see, I'm wearing my red. Um, and so I, I, as I got out of my truck at Aldi, I noticed a lot of people wearing masks. Okay, Now, now that hasn't happened around here. Uh, but we have reached the point of uh, of cases in this county that I think people are starting to pay attention. Uh, the average person who doesn't pay attention to much in the world uh, has, uh, you can come on down, babe, <laughs> uh, has finally started paying attention. Up till now, it was just like, ah, I'm so irritated I can't get toilet paper. You know, this is such a such a drag. You know, the nail salons are going to be closed, things like that. Uh, but I think they're, they're finally starting to pay attention. Now, they're way behind the curve. Uh, and I'll, I'll say this also, uh, the medical um, delivery system, the health care delivery system is also way behind the curve, at least at this level, at, at the delivery level. <clears throat> I'm not going to get into that a lot. I'm not going to get into it at all. There's, there's things that I simply can't say. Um, but I, I tell you, the, you know, the ones who aren't behind the curve, you can guess the, uh, the preppers, right? They know, then they have known exactly what's going on. Thankfully, a lot of them are in the medical community, the ones that I know. Uh, this is where, you know, I get a lot of my information. They've known exactly what's going on for quite a while. The uh, the system itself is still foundering. It's confused. It's fighting their its way through confusion and, and multiple sources of information that really, to be honest, a lot of these people don't have the background to grasp. And so while the information is there to be had, uh, too many of them are simply, you know, remaining within their chain of command, which is always a danger, and not going out to get their own information, which is readily available. Okay. All, all you got to do is, and you know, don't don't believe the news, don't don't believe the people on what they're telling you, but go to the reporting, go to those those organizations that that, that I won't say don't have a a you know a political uh, cap to pet, but uh, you know the the uh, the NIH, the uh, CDC, uh, who the uh, uh, National Institute for Allergies and Infectious Diseases. Uh, a couple of those are better than others. A couple of those operate more independently from from uh, um, from political agenda than the others. But 
But that's where you can get a great deal of information. And, and to be honest, a lot that, from what I can see, and, and of course you can't know exactly what's going on with people if you're not inside them. And even if you ask them, you're not going to get the whole story sometimes. But from what I can see, the problem in the, in the healthcare delivery right now is that they are getting their information through a funnel of their own command structure as opposed to uh, reaching out and, and trying to understand the broader information out there. So anyway, so I go into Aldi and I see a lot of people wearing masks. And then that's probably the first that, well, I'll get to that in a second. As I went through the store, I went in and I, I put on my mask and, and uh, you know, did all the things that I know I need to do not to be exposed. And um, <clears throat> uh, what I saw was the, the kind of the second tier of understanding in people from what I can see. I saw people... Uh, now, first off, the shelves were, are getting really thin, okay? But there are still plenty of foods out there that you can pick up if you need them to survive, you know? And uh, just, my, I, I said to my son, Aiden, the other night, I said, well, you know, getting ready to kind of change some, some dietary habits around here, uh, you know, uh, don't worry, we're not running short. He said, oh, I know. Uh, he says, well, you know, even if we eat some, th some things that are different than we usually do, it's better than starving. And that's what people need to get their head around that, you know, uh, bad times bring some, some possibilities that most can't quite understand until it hits them. So I see these people kind of wandering the eye, and they're, they're, they're kind of irritated. They're, I won't say that they're frantic yet, but they're, they're kind of pushing around, and they're concerned, and they're talking to people on their cell phones, and they're not paying attention to the people around them, and they're bumping into each other's carts and they're not saying excuse me and uh if i was gonna write if i was gonna write a movie uh-huh what i, I said, is that something new? <laughs> kelly says is that something new well it is in, in my experience maybe she goes to a rougher part of town to shop than i do but um it is in my experience um and and what i saw was they were bypassing a lot of of, of food that they should have been if they're not prepared which they're not okay uh, that they should have been putting in their carts, and they weren't. They were still being selective, you know. They, they were looking for organic. <laughs> yeah. They were looking for the things that fit into their you know, normal eating and, uh, and, 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 and thinking that they're good. And, and I see this, in, in I'm seeing this now as, as I talk to a broader group of people. When, and I ask them, you know, how are you set, how are you set? And they just immediately say, oh, we're good, we're good. And uh, from from my continuing to pursue, uh, I know that they're not. They think that they are. Uh, first off, they they weren't at all prepared uh, for for this or anything else, really. They, they weren't prepared for a bad day, let alone this. But... Uh, but this this came up they they couldn't quite understand it and they're still far you know we talked about the OODA loop boy they 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 are pre first o you know they're not even observing properly um i i, I might call it a, a a a buddha maybe i'll maybe maybe i'll invent this a buddha loop unless i had a b in front of that first o and call it before you know <laughs> before you observe because they might be looking around, but they're not seeing. Um, and, and so what they're in now, they get this idea, oh, the, the stores are going to, you know, I'm not supposed to get out of the house very much uh, after tomorrow, and I need a few things. So you know what they're doing? They're going out and they're getting a few things, and they think they're good, you know. And, uh, oh, do we have, uh, you know, we got uh, we got 10 jars, 20 jars of spaghetti sauce. Oh, man, we're, we're overly prepared. No, you're not. No, you are not. I, I don't, you know, I, I can't foresee, nor can anyone else, uh, exactly what's going to happen with this, but I have a pretty good idea of how it could go, and so do a lot of you out there. Uh, so, you know, the, the idea that you can be overly prepared is is uh, is stupid. You know, you cannot be overly prepared. Uh what should you do if you've got 10 jars of spaghetti sauce? You should buy another 90. Okay. Uh, why? Well, what's the first thing that, you know, what's the worst thing that could happen with it? You're going to eat it. You may not have to go to the store as much as, as you used to. 
And instead of going, oh, what are we going to have to eat tonight? Let's have spaghetti. I'll run to the store to get some. Instead, you go, hey, buddy, would you run down to the basement and give me uh, some pasta and a, a, a jar of spaghetti sauce? You know, that's really the way that our ancestors used to uh, used to live anyway, and it's the smart way to live. You know, and we maybe we should stop calling ourselves preppers and just start calling ourselves smart. You know, which which by a definition and exclusion kind of identifies the others out there. Okay, and I'm for any of you watching, I'm not putting you down. I'm saying, hey, uh, join us, learn from this. Let this be a a, a teaching moment for you. Uh, also, what I saw now, I can back up and, and kind of address what I was going to a minute ago. Uh, understand what's true. Okay. Um, I saw many people in there uh, wearing uh, essentially surgical masks or procedure masks, and I've and I've heard that's still going on even in, in hospitals. Uh, and and that's what I brought one out here to show you. This this is a procedure mask or a, or a surgical mask. Um, this will not protect you from COVID nineteen. This will not protect you from a virus. Okay. This is protect other people from you. And and you, if somebody coughs and they don't have a virus, okay? Uh, but this is to catch, <coughs> you know. So if somebody's got it, you put it on them. Hopefully, that will catch most of what they're coughing out into the air around. This doesn't protect you from this stuff. Although, this is what I see everybody wearing. And, and you know, I get it. Most people didn't know to have N95s, and so they don't have them, so they're doing the best I can, they can, okay? You know, do the best you can, right? Okay, what do you need? You need an N95. Now, most of you know this, I know this, but but in case you needed proof uh, to, to show somebody who's given you an argument and you think that I'm, you know, can, can uh, be a part of that, uh, this is an N95. This protects the wearer from virus like COVID-19. Now, this is not enough, and, and you have to fit it a certain way, and you can't have a beard, and you can't, you know, you, you've got to fit it. You put it on, you smash this down around your nose, and I won't go into the whole stuff here about how to make sure that you do it. it I'm sure it's online. If, if not, maybe I'll get back to it. Or I'll have one of my, my medicos come on here and make one. They can probably do a better job than I. But this will protect your your eyes, I mean your mouth and your nose won't protect your eyes. And you do need eye protection because virus can get in through your eyes, through the mucous membrane. Okay, Any exposed mucous membrane is a site that a virus can enter. And so when I have, I have, I wear this and these can be reused. You can sterilize these in between. I know people say that you can't. Even I know some doctors say that you can't. Well, they were told that by the suppliers of these so that they buy a lot more. And, and maybe I'll get into that on a different one. That's just, you know, look it up, research it yourself so that you're, you're sure about that. Maybe I'll get on and talk about that later. But I want to kind of conclude this because I got this class coming up. Uh, okay. Uh, this covers your nose and your mouth. This will do you fine. Um, uh, but you also need eye protection. So I always carry, I carry goggles and I carry a swim mask. Okay. I want to be, it kind of depends on the situation that, 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 that I'm in. Uh, I will wear one of the two. And yeah, you might look funny. Which would you rather do? Look funny or catch this stuff? And if you don't die, at least you have lost about 50% or whatever of your lung capacity for the rest of your life. Make your choice, right? Um, so that's what you want in this case. Okay, I'm going to conclude that today because I, I have some other things I'll come back to talk about tomorrow and probably talk a little bit about this. Uh, um, may, maybe I'll talk about this beginner handling class. I'm not probably not on YouTube, but but over on uh, on Patreon. So anyway, you all have a, a and I should mention this also that if. Uh, that I'm starting to put uh, combatives in. We'll be putting stuff on on handgun and things like those over on Patreon. So if that's your interest, it's over there. The link's down below. And uh, I will wish you all a good day. And remember, 
that we prepare well today. Okay. Right. In order to live well tomorrow. And you all live well. Have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.